from YouTuber Mark Rober. Uh, he, he posted this video, can you fool a self-driving car? What he did is he did a number of tests and he used two different self-driving cars. He used a Tesla in autopilot with its camera setup. And then he tried a unnamed self-driving car LIDAR camera system, which is more okay. the more high-tech LIDAR system. And he, he wanted to see how, how much he could do to obscure the car's vision and if he could mess up yes. uh, both. So here's one of the tests where he's got a mannequin of a child in the road, and then he's covering the road with fog to obscure the car's view. So here's how both cars did. This is something where LIDAR will absolutely see the kid through fog, but FSD with a camera is not going to see it. Guaranteed LIDAR stops, guaranteed FSD does, and I am sophisticated enough to know this specific edge case. Also, a human is not going to get this right. So a human right, and oh, an FSD granted. is the same thing because it uses cameras. The cameras are better than humans, but nobody can see through fog except for, it's going to hit it. Yeah, uh, as, as would a human. Any of us driving that car right. would have hit the kid. Let's see this yeah. one. Next so this one. next one, he's got a painted wall like in a Looney Tunes. This is a wild that, E. Coyote situation. Right, that looks exactly like yeah, the this horizon. This will never happen, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's right. not I a like real world for, scenario. I like it for comedic. It's points. funny, right? Yeah. Yes, that would. And I think <laughs> so. LIDAR. Hmm. The LIDAR, the LIDAR, LIDAR worked. Would, I think the LIDAR no, the, would be able to pick up on the cues. But it here, did. what's it's interesting about the, this one is okay. This is the most interesting one. You know why? LIDAR is going to get it. FSD is not, but a human is going to get this one. This is not yeah. going to trick a human because you can see that as you come in the different a angles. A little outline, would, yeah. It's, you're going to see the outline of it, right? right. So you exactly. would be able to see the nuance. LiDAR, it, it, it works because it, it casts the shadow. That's how LiDAR knows. It, it yes. can tell that the light is not reaching it from behind. Yes. And that's how it knows that there's a, it's a like barrier a bat, there. Right? It's like right. you get this extra sensory. That's because LiDAR is, yeah, it's actually, it's working like radar, but with light instead of sound. That's to, to uh, in layman's terms. Number one, I'm glad somebody did this. And they should have just added for fairness, a human driver. And that would have also been mm -hmm. much more entertaining to have a they human. They do note that in the beginning that, that these no, are know, these are tests saying, like, beyond why what they a human not could. use a human in a regular car. Get a Toyota Prius. Get your Toyota Prius C. Put somebody <laughs> in and say go, and you know let's that see if they a, hit that wall. Let's right. see if they you know and just tell them like nobody's gonna get hurt. You can't get hurt, but just go. Right. And then if you think you see something, stop. And what we would see is the human wouldn't hit that fake Wally Coyote wall. They would. Um, hit the child in the fog. Like yeah, the fog was the so fog. dense you couldn't see anything. That would be the way to make this, um, you know, really entertaining and l let people understand. FSD is like human plus, and FSD with lidar is like superhero level, right? You're, you're becoming like Daredevil. You the question I have for Alex is, when we look at this, what standard? What standard? Should <laughs> cyber taxis, Waymo, let's just call the, you know, let's call the category autonomous vehicles. Should they be held to a standard that is better than humans mm -hmm. or the daredevil standard? Which one? Superhero? Mm -hmm. Superhuman? Obviously, humans are already on the road. So then we're just deciding, should we expect a lot more? Or a superhero level. What do you think, Alex? Should be superhero the superhero level for a number okay. of reasons. One, aim high. Two, okay. the number of deaths we have right now from human drivers is way too high. I think FSD is safer, great, but it doesn't get the death rate down as far as I want it to. And third, my 2019 Subaru Outback. I, our car before didn't have a rear view camera. We didn't think we needed one. Why would we need that? We literally look behind. That rear view camera that we now have on our car is mind bendingly better for us as safe drivers. So now my thing is, if we have the technology and it's mass producible and affordable for at least most cars, which would fit this rubric, then we should do it because why not? LiDAR only costs, mm. I, I was looking it up like about a thousand bucks per unit in mass production. For a K, we can have better.